Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Narayana Vidyam classes. Today we are going to discuss trigonometric ratios and the relation and Pythagoras theorem related problems. Fine. Now let us start with the problems. The first problem is if cos a by cos b is equal to m and sin a by sin b is equal to m, then find the value of m square minus n square times sin square b in terms of n. Okay, now let us see how to solve it. If you take m square minus n square times sin square b, that is going to be m is sin a by sin b. That is sin a by sin b whole square minus n square. n square is cos a by cos b whole square. Cos a by cos b whole square times we have sin square b. That is going to be sin a whole square is nothing but sin square a. So let me write it as sin square a by sin square b minus cos square a by cos square b times sin square b. That is again. So let us cross multiply. So we have otherwise we call it as finding LCM. We have sin square a cos square b minus cos square a sin square b times of sin square b. So here sin square b sin square b cancels, and we are going to have sin square a cos square b. Minus. Let me write uh, cos square a. Let us keep as it is. Then sin square b. I am going to write as one minus cos square b upon cos square. B. Here I have to use sin square b plus cos square b is equal to one. Using that result, I wrote sin square b as one minus cos square b. Now. <coughs> That is going to be sin square a cos square b minus cos square a. Next we have plus cos square a cos square b upon here cos square b. Now, if I do further simplification. I am going to have. See, if you take these two terms, both have cos square b common. So, if you take cos square b common here, we are going to have sin square a plus cos square a minus cos square b cos square a upon cos square b. That is going to be sin square a plus cos square a is equal to one. That is an identity we have. So, we have cos square b times one minus cos square a by cos square b. Now this can be written as we can split this into two fractions: cos square b by cos square b minus cos square a by cos square b. So that is going to be this is one minus cos square a by cos square b is nothing but cos a by cos b whole square. So that is the value of n, one minus n square. So that we have. M square minus n square times of sin square b we got one minus n square. So this is how we have converted the m square minus n square times of sin square b value in terms of n. Okay, students. Now we move to the next problem. In a triangle ABC. Right angle we see find the value of tan A plus tan B in 
in terms of small a, small b, small c. What is the meaning of this? So, what is asking here in the triangle, it is a right angle at C. So, he is saying that it is a right triangle, we find. So, we can establish a right triangle over here. And right angle at C, so at C we have the right angle. So, if I take this as some A, I can take this as B. So, ABC is a right triangle now. Now, what is he asking? Find the value of tan A plus tan B in terms of small a, small b, small c. What are small a, small b and small c? Small a is standing for length of the side BC. Small b stands for length of the side AC. And small c stands for length of the side AB. So, as AB is opposite to angle C, we represent AB as small c. And as AC is opposite to angle B, we represent AC with small b. As BC is opposite to angle A, so we represent it with small a. Okay, fine. Now, what is tan A and what is tan B? We have to find out that. <coughs> now, in triangle ABC, tan A, we define tan A as opposite to angle A, opposite side to angle A by adjacent side to angle A. So, that is otherwise BC by AC. That is going to be A by B. Next, tan B. Same way, tan B to take opposite to that we have side AC by adjacent to angle B is BC. So, that is going to be B by A. B by a. Now, we want tan A plus tan B. Tan A is A by B plus tan B is B by A. So, that is going to be, if you take the same, it is going to be A B then A square plus B square. Now, if you look at the triangle ABC, A and B are two arms that are including the right angle and C is the hypotenuse. So, obviously, by Pythagoras theorem, we can say that C square is equal to A square plus B square. Pythagoras theorem states, square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of sides including the right angle. So, that we can say C square is A square plus B square. So, that it is going to be C square by AB. Therefore, we have tan A plus tan B as C square by AB. So, we have represented or we have expressed tan A plus tan B in terms of small a, small b and small c. That is going to be C square by AB. Fine. Now, let us move to the next question. The problem is like this. In the given figure, tan theta is 3 by 4. Then find AC. If AB is equal to 12 centimeters. So we are given a figure over here. In the figure, he is saying that this is theta C, B, A, and it is right angle at B, and AB level is given as 12 centimeters. Okay, so we are given tan theta as 3 by 4, and then AC length he is asking if at all you know. AB as well as this. Fine. Now, if you look at the triangle, so you should let us start. In triangle ABC, tan theta, because it is right angle at B, so we can apply the geometric ratio concept over here. Tan theta is equal to opposite side to theta, that is AB upon adjacent, that is BC. AC by BC. That is given as 3 by 2. That is given as 3 by 4. That implies AB. AB is also given as 12 by BC is equal to 3 by 4. Since AB is equal to 12 by That is otherwise, we can find out BC by, yeah, see, 12 times 4 by 3. BC is 
12 into 4 by 3. So 3 ones and 3 fours, that is going to be 16 centimeters. So BC is going to be 16 centimeters. Fine. Now we have the good that get the value of AC. To get the value of AC, we have Pythagoras theorem. So by using Pythagoras theorem, we can find out AC value. So let us do that. <coughs> By Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So AB square is nothing but 144 plus BC square is nothing but 256. Now that is going to be four hundred. AC square is going to be 400, it implies AC is equal to root 400, that is 20, uh, 20 meters. So, with the given information, tan theta 3 by 4 and AB as 12 centimeters, what we try to do is, we try to find out BC first, then by applying Pythagoras rule, we got AC value as 20 centimeters. Fine. Now, let us go to the next question. In a right triangle, Right angle at B in a right angle triangle, right angle at B length of AC is nine more than AB. And two more than BC. Then find the lengths of the sides of the triangle. So let us take the diagram for that. Angle B is that. Now let me take it as C and this is A. Now as A B is of A C is opposite angle B that is a hypotenuse. If you look at the question, length of A C, A C is nothing but the hypotenuse over here. 9 more than A B. More than A B is a 9 more than that of A B. Fine. 2 more than A C. Okay. Now let us take let the length of BC, length of AC be x centimeters. If we take it as x centimeters, then AB is what? Length of AC is 9 more than AB. So definitely AB length will be x minus 9. It will be 9 less than. Similarly, BC is x minus 9. Because he is saying that AC is 2 more than BC he is saying. So BC length will be 2 less than AC. So, by assuming AC length as x centimeters, we are getting AB as x minus 9 centimeters and BC as x minus 2 centimeters. Fine. Then our target is to go for x value. If you find out x value, you can get x minus 9 as well as x minus 2. By that, all the three sides lengths can be found out. So, now the task is to find out the value of x. How can you do that? As usual, it is a right triangle, we can make use of Pythagoras theorem. Now, by applying Pythagoras theorem, <coughs> By Pythagoras theorem, we have AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. That is going to mean X square because AC square is X square and X minus 9 whole square plus BC square is X minus 2 square. Now we have to solve for X. That is x square plus 81 minus 18x 
plus x square plus 4 minus 4x. Four. This is of x square. It implies x square x square cancels. Then we are left with x square minus 22x plus 85 is So we got a quadratic equation we have to solve it. If we factorize it, x square we are 5, 17 is 85. 5 plus 17 is 22. So we can write it as x square minus 5x minus 17 is plus 85 is 0. That implies x of x minus 5 minus 17 of x minus 5 is equal to 0. That is otherwise x minus 5 times of x minus 17 is 0. Therefore, x is equal to 5 or 17. But in this, x is equal to 5 cannot be considered as length. Because x, if x is 5, we got AB as x minus 9 centimeters and BC as x minus 2 centimeters. If x is 5, this 5 minus 9 becomes minus 4, which is negative, which is not a possible length for the side of the time. Okay, because length must be always positive. So that 5 is root of. Therefore, x is equal to 17 centimeters. Therefore, x minus 9 is that is 17 minus 9, that is 8 centimeters. x minus 2 is 17 minus 2, that is 15 centimeters. Now we can conclude that AC is equal to 17 centimeters, AB is equal to 8 centimeters, and finally BC is equal to 15 centimeters. These are the lengths of the sides of the triangle. Okay? Thank you.